Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here. New setup. Still same room. Now you're gonna see like my husband's side of the room. Um, eventually, if I'm not lazy, I do have backdrops. I didn't want to get them out right now, so I didn't. Sorry. Um, I lied. Maybe I'll try one right now. Un momento. Change my mind. I wanted to try it, so. <laughs> you can see like I need to iron I get it don't come for me I just did this for fun okay I'm not very good at it um but I wanted to play with the new makeup that I just opened which hopefully that video is already up if not then I suck at life but I just wanted to give it a try I have not what is going on here I haven't worn makeup in forever so let's see if I even remember how to put makeup on um I don't have moisturizer. My, I don't have anything. And uh, it's pointless to get up at this point. So I'm going to try this pretty fresh hyaluronic um, acid tinted moisturizer. Mm, it says prep skin with pretty fresh hyaluronic, hydra hyaluronic hydrating primer. Use blending sponge or fingertips to lightly dab and blend into skin. Well, we're not doing primer. We're not even doing moisturizer really. So let's shake this up a little bit. Let's put it on the back of my hand. Okay, for a tinted moisturizer, looks like pretty full coverage. Not like full coverage, but like coverage. So, ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like it just like, my um, beauty sponge just absorbed the crap out of that. Oh, I just realized I didn't grab a concealer. Okay. Maybe on the face. Maybe that'll make it last longer. I don't ever like usually wear two pumps of like any makeup. So I get that it's lightweight and light coverage, but <laughs> the color is actually pretty good. I was pretty surprised. It's hard to tell, like, when it's, like, this frosted packaging, it always gives it, like, a different, like, look almost. But let's see. And, like, when I started filming, it was blue skies and sunny. And, like, in the 10 minutes it took me to get this set up, it is so, so gloomy out now. Um, It wasn't very cold today. I mean, it's December. No, it's not. It's January. Um... <laughs> But my husband said it's supposed to snow soon, which I'm over the snow. We've had a, like a couple really, really nice days recently. Um, we haven't had like a bad winter at all. It's been pretty mild. Let's see. Is that all my mirrors or my, yeah, my mirrors. Like... I just dropped my beauty blender. Hmm. That's like totally up my alley. Um, for the kind of makeup I want to wear. I'm actually not even going to get concealer. I'm going to totally forgot to get... Oh, no. Me, meh. I guess I kind of want a little bit more coverage on my cheeks. Um. I don't know. Or this is a lot of product. I mean, I get that it's just a tinted moisturizer, right? Right? Do I keep saying the wrong thing? Yeah, tinted moisturizer. But we're on pump three for tinted moisturizer. So maybe going forward, I wouldn't use a sponge. Cause I feel like my sponge is just absorbing the crap out of this product. I'm totally using my viewfinder as the mirror because my mirror is too far away and I'm too lazy to like bring it forward. Maybe I'll try and bring it forward. I mean, that feels really nice. It's, it kind of looks like a peachy tone on my hand. You can't tell on there. In person, it looks like it's a really peachy. So I wonder if it's going to come off as peachy, which now makes me nervous that it's totally not my color. Um, okay, you know, this doesn't look bad. I'm sure my skin is also like absorbing it. So it feels nice on the skin. It feels like I have absolutely nothing on my skin right now. Um, my neighbor just called it. Uh, what was I gonna, oh, like, I bet you if I, like, did the proper steps and, like, had moisturizer and stuff on, it would feel, or, like, it wouldn't soak in as much as it is, but it really, it feels like, A, that I have, like, nothing on, um, 
even like when I touch it, it literally just, I wouldn't even say it feels tacky, but like, you know, when you just like put a moisturizer on, like you can legit just kind of feel it. That's what I feel right now. Uh, it definitely like isn't full coverage, but the moisturizer isn't supposed to be full coverage, which I'm okay with. Like this is the kind of look I like. I just like to even everything out, which is why I don't want to put concealer on, but I kind of know like if I don't put concealer on, I'm going to get mad. So I'm going to grab a concealer. Um, I grabbed ColourPop's concealer, which these are like both probably like a year old. So probably expired. If I remember correctly, like neither of them are actually my shade. I always had to mix it. But even then, like this one's like a little too peachy. And then this one I think is like a little too yellowy. So hopefully like they cancel each other out maybe. Maybe. Oh my gosh. I probably have way too much on. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm a little nervous. Okay. But these are the no filter concealer. I don't remember if I liked them or not. It's been like forever. Really more coverage than I needed. Okay, cool. We're going to blend the crap out of this. Um, I don't remember if I liked it or not. I think I do remember like not being happy with the colors matches that I got, but I could never like get my shades in. And so I just like dealt with what I had. Cool, and then we're gonna do it on this side and like blend it out and hope the sponge like picks up tons of product. Put a little here. So, what else is new? Um, Joe Biden was sworn in today. So that's cool. Hmm. Mm. Cool. That's all I have to say. Um, tomorrow I am going to go get my um, COVID shot because of being a preschool teacher. We, at least in, I don't know if it's like nationwide or just in Idaho, how it's like right now they've moved on to um, so like medical professionals. So my husband's already gotten both of his shots because he's a doctor. And then um, it, they were going to then do like spouses of doctors, which look at that clear, that went in pretty neatly, pretty neatly. I was able to like blend that out nicely and it just gave me a little bit of coverage of like I needed underneath my eyes. Cool. So I didn't like make a disaster. Um, but they were going to have like spouses of like medical professionals get their COVID shots. I'm going to use the breezy. It's in the sh Do you know how long it's been since I filmed a makeup makeup video? This is by Tarte. This is Breezy Cream bron Creamy Bronzer. Is it, I always got confused because it says Breezy, but then it also says Seychelles. And so I think that's the shade. I don't know. I really do like this cream contour. Um, they were going to have the medical professionals, like spouses, get them once like the tier threes were scheduled for theirs. Um, like... I don't know how like the tiers work like tier one where like the doctors like fully at the hospitals that are like with COVID patients all the time and like not even just doctors like the nurses the CNAs and all of them um and then tier twos which um are like the ones that don't come in contact quite as often but like maybe in like clinic and stuff and then tier threes are like I don't know further down the list um so then uh, the spouses were gonna get them then and then they decided actually no we're gonna do um have like 65 and older and then teachers and stuff like that get them done which I was totally okay with and then it like hit me I was like huh I'm a teacher so um I work at a preschool and it's as long as you're a child care provider or pre-k through um 12th grade it's our turn to get shots now so I'm going tomorrow to get mine I'm not necessarily nervous for it because I've never had a reaction, knock on wood. I've never had a reaction from a shot before. I am a little anxious for the fact that, oh, I just love this. It's not blending out as great down here. Um, I, what was I saying? Oh, like I don't mind getting shots and stuff like that, but I am a little bit nervous because I know this when you have a little bit stronger of a reaction, like whether you get like the flu symptoms for like a day or just like really feel down and out and like really tired. Ben really just got like, like each, 24 hours like after both of his shots because it's a two part it's a two parter shot like I think you have to wait two weeks in between um he had like the really sore arm 
like tired and achy and like would get the chills and that was it but like was able to work just fine um but I work on Friday with all the little kids and so that's gonna be like <laughs> I'm like down and out no energy that's not gonna be like super fun um so this I like I said I love this cream bronzer it layered on really nicely and yeah nothing wrong I like it um I think the best way to do these sticks I think I'm gonna I don't want to like go straight because it's a really it seems like a really draggy that's super bright. Do I want that shade? <sighs> but I want it to show up. Okay, I think I'm going to start out with the light shade. This is the shade um, Cool It. It's a little bit more muted of a pink because it's not a crazy look. But like I said, I think I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and warm it up. And then pick it up. It's like a really pretty shade. I think I'm going to pick it up. I just think putting it on straight like that, it's going to like drag the makeup. You know? You dig? Okay, so I'm going to pick it up. Did that work? Do you see it? Do you see it? I don't know if I see it. Kind of. Kind of. <sighs> Should I just try? <laughs> I warmed it up on my hand at least, so that made it easier to move. I just think it's like a really muted shade. Um, but yeah, back to the shot. So I get my shot tomorrow, which to each their own. I don't think it should be mandatory. I think everyone has the right to make their own decisions. Everyone has the right to have their own opinion on it. I definitely like <laughs> was kind of against it at first because I was like, whatever. Like I would never get on an airplane that they rushed the building of. Why would I get something injected into my body that they rushed the build, like the making of it until my husband <laughs> was smart and informs me that that's not how this works. And the COVID, the COVID. COVID's been a thing that's always been around. It's the flu. It's just like a different strain. And COVID-19, or no, wait, it's corona that's always been around. COVID-19 is a strain of corona. And that's always been around. And so they've always kind of had, like, Ben said, like, for 20 years, they've known how, like, the structure of all this works. They just have to predict it to each strand. And so that's what they had to work on, like, the last year was just to make it so the flu shot was effective towards this. So it's not like it's brand new. You know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it. So it's not necessarily like they rush the process. And so I'm not by no means knock on wood. I'm not anxious at all to get the flu shot, not the flu shot, the COVID shot. Um, and if it, I don't know, gives me peace of mind, then I'm all for that. Okay. That might've taken a long time to build up to the color that I want but I really like that. Oh, that's super pretty. Okay, I'm super excited to play with the brighter color because I bet you that I would like show up even sooner. Do I want to put a little on? Let's just put a little on because like, why not? All right, I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hands. Oh, look at how much brighter that is. I feel like I might regret this. One, two, one, two, one, three. <laughs> just had to like make it show up a little bit more. This is the shade Mic Drop. That's a super cute name. Um, Pick up the excess off my hand. So we're gonna get that done, which I'm going to Vegas for my birthday. Um, ben and I are just going in February and I'll have both my shots by then, which just makes me feel a little bit better. We traveled to Florida back in October for Ben's birthday. Um, like no issues at all. I mean, obviously we wore our masks the whole time and like we're distant, we're on vacation. We're not on vacation with everybody else. We're on vacation with ourselves. So it's not hard to stay away from other people. I don't know why people make that such a big deal. Cute. Yeah, I think that showed up really nice. Now we're good. Oh, no, I did grab a highlighter because I didn't think I was going to want to do a highlight, but I totally do. Ah, okay. Super excited. Super all over the place with the talking. My bad. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to set my face. Maybe just a little bit in like the T-zone area, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'm going to pick up, let's see, the Marc Jacobs um, Accomplice. No, is that the shade? I don't remember. It's Marc Jacobs Potter. There we go. I use it multiple times on here. I'm just going to set like the key areas like lightly, like very lightly. So yeah, we're going to um, Vegas in a couple weeks. And then in April, we have another trip booked for Florida. And this time we're taking our kids with us and like my in-laws are going and my parents, as long as like they all feel secure with traveling during all this. I don't have any reservations of traveling with this because I feel like everyone's super cautious the whole time on the airplane and in the airport, you have your masks on. Um, children are not as susceptible to it all. And quite frankly, if we were gonna get it, 
knock on wood, I feel like we already would have gotten it. My husband's been around hundreds of people that have had it, like legitimately. He's had patients pass away from this. So we've definitely been exposed and none of us have shown any symptoms thus far. And we've definitely been lucky in that sense. I mean, I totally think I already had it um, back in February, but who quite knows. Okay, I like that. Um, it definitely, my bronzer's not showing up as much anymore, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going with it. Um, also, I'm going to have to do like so many different, because I have this blush. I got this blush. I got this blush, which, oh my gosh, these two. Tell me those aren't the same shade. I guess they're a little bit different. And then I also got this blush, which is extremely similar to this blush. So, but I wanted to try the cream ones. So we have five new blushes eventually that we need to try out and declutter some of my old ones, but we'll get there down the line. Um, I'll put a little bit of highlight on. I just grabbed my ColourPop Flexitarian Super Shock Cheek. I don't know why I almost said Creek. Um, I don't wear this too often because it's a little bit too much, but I'm just gonna pick up just a very little bit, a very little bit, just a small amount with my beauty sponge and just tap it out. Cute. Also, do you want to know what I'm doing after I'm done with this? I'm gonna go fold laundry and then I'm gonna work out. So the point of putting makeup on, there is none. I just wanted to play with makeup and like try out my new little setup. Um, But yeah, so we're going to Florida in April with the boys. Like I said, not anxious about it. My kids go to school all the time, obviously. Um, we've been back in session this whole time, so they know how to wear the masks. They're old enough like, to listen to the rules and all of that. I am going to use my Patrick Ta for the brows. Um, I don't know. It's basically just tinted soap, right? I use my Evian water just to like activate it, and then I just need to grab a spoolie. I love being super lazy when it comes to my brows, and this product allows me to be super lazy with my brows. There we go. Yep, that's one. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up, which obviously this is the one I've been using because look at how gross it is from it. You just do it, shake it, move it, not shake it. I don't, you know what I'm saying. Just put some friction in there and then I'm just going to push my brows up. I'm not going for like a super defined look. I'm just going for a cool. She put a little bit of effort into her brows look. It's like how I want my makeup to always be like, did she put effort? Maybe not. Maybe just a little bit. Like that's how I want my makeup to look. Unless I'm trying to like go all out. You know what I mean? Which I don't go all out with my makeup anymore. Um, Like in Vegas, I don't really... I don't know if I'm really going to take that much makeup. Like I might take brow products and mascara and that's it. I mean, you have to be in a mask the whole time, which I'm like, as I said, I'm totally fine with. Um, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And again, I've made it this long without getting COVID. I would like to continue that streak. <laughs> um, so I don't know if I'll actually like wear makeup, makeup in Vegas. We'll see. And in Florida, I don't wear makeup in Florida at all because I sweat the whole time. So, yeah, there's no point. All right. These brows are giving me a little bit of issue. Me, me. No, I don't want you to lay down too much. Literally, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not even going to do anything else. I brought... A, like brow gel which I don't even think I need to use that like because this actually keeps my brows in place pretty good so I think I'm just gonna leave it as is um I'm going to grab so I have this eyeshadow palette I mean I'm really just gonna put like two colors on I have this one oh that one's really cute and then I have this one the child which is like also super cute I love that shade this is like a little bit too much for like the look I'm going for. I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of like a pale pink in here. Let's see, move those out of the way. Okay, uh, this is the blushing or the blush crush palette from ColourPop. I think I'm just gonna 
go between lovesick and the one and just put that in my crease cute oh always kind of chalky products but it doesn't quite bug me um but I know a lot of people that's like a deal breaker for them it doesn't bug me Okay, so now that we're kind of evened out, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of Cheek to Cheek, which is a, like really pretty kind of mauve shade. I'm going to put that just through my crease. This is like a giant um, blender brush. This is the Morphe M531. It's just like an oversized blender brush. I don't even know if it's meant for eyes, but I absolutely love it to just like diffuse a color all over the place. I love it for that. That. And then a little bit over here. This is literally the first time I've put makeup on and I got like two plus weeks because two weeks ago is when like we transferred the boys from up here or down into their rooms and I just today found my makeup brushes. So now that I think about it, unless I put it all away and I don't remember, I used to have like a separate set of like my everyday makeup which I haven't really found. So maybe I already put it, I already forget like what my everyday makeup was. I'm gonna jump in to the nude palette just to like tone down the pink a little bit. And I'm going to use All Natural, All Natural probably, is what it is. Um, just because it's a little pink for my liking. Just tone it down a bit. Go underneath. I'm gonna grab a mascara. I just realized that. Cool. How long it's been since I've done makeup. All right, I wanna use, I think, let's see. This, so this shade is in Enamored. You see all like the other swatches on my hands. And then this one is Pop a Bottle. That one right here. And then Blossom Up. It's a little bit darker than what I was thinking. Um, 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 um. I think I'm gonna do Enamored. It's like a little bit more of a pinky one. And just put that all over the lid. Just use your finger and then I'm going to wipe all this excess off my hand and I'm going to do pop a bottle, like the white shade, just like in the very center, just so it like pops, kind of like the name says. And then I'm just going to use this brush with nothing on it, just like leftovers and kind of blend through and make sure it's all kosher. Super simple, super easy. Um, not that I really need to, but I'm going, like, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna do it. I'm going to pick up a little flat brush and I'm gonna dip into this darker shade Moody and I'm just gonna put it along my eyelashes, kind of like um, an eyeliner. Why was that a word that I forgot? I'm just gonna smudge it almost like messily, like really, I'm not, Trying to be precise about this at all. I'm just gonna go about three quarters of the way in and just really push it on to my eyelashes, like the base of it or whatever you wanna call it. And then just blend. Just gives the eye a little bit more definition. And so I can do that on the other side. Well, went a little bit higher on that side, so now I gotta like even it out. Cool, let me go grab a mascara real quick. We weren't going for like crazy cool. I'm just gonna grab, this is the first one I grabbed. This is They Are Real by Benefit, which is like a giant 
applicator, so I'll be right back. Um, also, has anybody seen, like, the, what is it, the Maybelline Mile High Mascara frenzy that's been going on? I really want to try it, but also, have we always supposed to have been putting three layers of mascara on? Like, I did today um, with this mascara, which I could have totally been done with one and two. I just think it gets clumpier from there. Um, but everyone just goes on and on about that mascara and how you do three coats and, like, how it makes it amazing. Am I the only one that thinks like three coats of mascara seems like a lot? Like, have I just sucked at this whole makeup thing this whole time? Like, am I the only one that didn't know this? Um, but needless to say, I still really want to try that mascara and I can't find it anywhere. All right, so uh, let's do lips. I am going to, I have so many glosses in front of me that I want to use, but I think what I'm going to do if I'm going to use a lip liner, not that I ever use lip liners, but you know, when in Rome and when you buy an entire collection of lip liners, you better use them. So like, I don't want like dark, I just kind of want like a nudie. That one? Is that like my shade? I don't know. Like, do these twist up? Like, do I sharpen them? I don't even know how this works. Cool. I suck at life. So I'm going to put this on. super smooth super not a good applicator that's me not on this that's on me and then I'm not like an over lip draw person that's not me so I'm not even trying cool cool I'm not like a lip liner person but like I totally want to get into it so that's why I bought them okay I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna put I think a gloss over the top. I have tons of glosses to choose from. I think I'm going to go through one of these two. I think... Mm, 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 I just feel... Hold on. Let me fix this. This is driving me crazy. Because I feel like it looks like... It's really just a shadow right here. Or like... A blending situation. But it looks like... See that? It looks like I went over. And again, that's not the product at all. That's me. Does that diffuse it at all? Who knows? So we're moving on. All right. I'm just going to put on some of this Lux gloss in Tricky. It's like a pale pink. It's like a huge doe foot. It's an interesting smell. Oh, RIP. White doe foot. Is that like orange? The scent, not the color. Yeah, that lip line situation. It's just not for me. Like, I just need to get used to it on me. All right, guys. That's it. I'm not even going to do a setting spray. Because there's no point. I'm going to... Can I wipe the lips off? I'm going to be done. But let's try another lip combo. Because I'm not super into the situation. I just think I'm not used to lip lining and like how it looks on me. Cool. Pretty. All right. Hopefully there's still like some product on this. See like that thing's still there. It's a freckle. It's a freckle. Can you get freckles? Yeah, you get freckles like the older you get, right? Cause I don't, I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. So cool. It's just a freckle. <laughs> Genius. All right, let's try one of these instead. Um, I picked up the little like. What are you looking at, huh? They just drove by. Um, I forget what these are called. Lippy sticks, right? Yeah, lippy sticks. I picked up a vault of them. Um, let's do little things. Looks like a cute little pale situation. Might be a little burgundy. Not even close. 
a lot pinker than I was expecting. All right, tone that down with some lip gloss. It's like a perfectly pink. Mm. Those just are so hydrating and smooth and I just love them. Cool, super cute color. Um, super Valentine's Day look right now. Um, but I'm gonna put gloss over the top just because. I'm gonna do this time Candy Kiss, which is like a little bit more of a nudie color. Um, again, it's got like a little bit of a purple-ish tone to it and some glitter. Just gonna set that in the center. Again, RIP to a clean doe foot. I got nervous and thought I wasn't recording, but I am. In person, this is super pink. It's a little bit more muted on camera, which is perfect. Um, so I don't look as crazy, but there we go. That is my look for today. Thank you so much for sitting through the TED Talk of probably not a single conversation got finished. Um, I'm going to, oh, I'm not going to Hawaii. I'm going to Vegas soon, I'm going to Florida soon, getting my vaccine. We have a new president. Um, I mean, I wish him for the best. Like, I want the best for our country. And I don't wish harm on anybody. And I don't wish harm on any president or, like, ill will. Because if you wish bad on a president, you're wishing bad on the country. And I want our country to, like, flourish. And I want us to all go back to loving one another. And so, just a little anxious. Like, change of power always makes me anxious. Changes in anything makes me anxious. Changing to a new like fabric softener makes me anxious. So of course I'm gonna be a little bit anxious when it's a change in president. Um, but yeah, no, nope. cool. Anything else that I didn't finish the new room? I'm gonna steam these eventually. <sighs> Probably not, like that's just too much for me. All right, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Who knows when that'll be? I suck at uploading. This is for the thumbnail. Maybe you want a little update on how the makeup looks. I like it. It's a little bit chalky on my chin, but I think that's from the powder, not from the, the foundation. It's not really foundation. Tinted moisturizer, and I really like the blushes, the eyeshadow palette. I like it all. I like it. Okay, bye.